Unquestionably, it's one of the best days of his life. Deshaun Foster, formally introduced as UCLA's head football coach. He joins us on the Bruin Insider Show. For Nick Cope, I'm Brian Fenley. Deshaun, what a day. We are so excited to talk with you. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me. You got done earlier today with the press conference in front of the media in a very ceremonious atmosphere. Comparing what you thought this day was going to be like to what it is to this stage, what is that like? It's still unbelievable, you know, just the support that we had out there, the excellent players, just the alumni that came. It was, it was such a, it was just such an event, you know, that's why I was overcome by emotions, but I'm just glad that I have the support of the community and I'm going to get out there and do my best for everybody. How would you describe what the last four days have been like for you? Hectic. You know, it's just been, you know, but it's it's a it's a good hectic. You know, it was um, uncharted territory. I'm in new 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 waters, but you know, I can swim, so yeah. I'm ready to to uh, get out there and just showcase what I can do and and get this team to win some football games. You're also a good golfer. We might be talking about that a little bit later <laughs> in the conversation. But when Martin Jarman, the UCLA athletic director, when he introduced you today, and obviously the tears started streaming down. What did that feel like, and how cathartic were those tears? It was just, you know, I was just overcome by emotions. It was tough. It was tough. It was very tough. But, you know, um, it just shows, you know, how, how passionate I am about this. You know, I, I truly, truly wanted this job, and I wanted to do everything I could to get it, you know, put my best foot forward. So I'm just glad that they, you know, reciprocated the love that I was showing them for, for our school and the passion that I have and the vision. You know, I think that they could see the vision and what I was telling them. So um, I'm really excited about this. And I can't thank Martin, Gene and uh, Josh enough. <clears throat> we all watched the video yesterday of you getting introduced to the team. I mean, I watched it again this morning, got goosebumps all over again. So that moment was great. But to hear that they were advocating for you throughout the process, what did that mean to you? That's, you know, that's powerful, you know, because... Now I just have to do my part for them. I know that they're going to fight for me, yeah. you know? So as long as I can do that for them, win their trust, and just keep this team playing at a high level, things are going to be good for us. They love you because you're there for them. How, how have you been there for them, even before being the head coach, and just showing up and really caring about your players? Just trying to be more than football, you know? These are their, their kids. They're learning. They're going to fall. You need to catch them. So I just try to be in positions for them to help them succeed on and off the field. It's just not all about football. Everybody's not going to make it to the NFL. You know, Jerry Rice played football 20 years. He's going to be a regular person longer than he's a football player. You know, so I just try to build character and help these guys out. If I see somebody down or, you know, he might be having a bad day, let me circle around and just see how you're doing. You know, just that little bit right there. How you doing? They care about that. So... With where college football is right now, where it's going, so much in flux, you know, how do you see your role as the head coach here at UCLA? Because as you've been here, you, you've seen all the transition and the changes over the years. You know, how do you see your job here going forward? And all that comes with it. A lot comes with it. You know, I'm basically a CEO of a company now. Yeah. And um, this is a huge company. This is, has a big brand, you know, UCLA. So... I'm just going to take it in stride day by day, you know. Um, I have a lot of have a support staff and team around me that's going to help me succeed, you know, from the people over in the Morgan Center, the people up here on the third floor in Wasserman. So I'm excited, you know, the energy here and to see it. Like, I'm just excited. I'm excited. Well, we're excited for you. Deshaun Foster joining us on the Bruin Insider Show for Nick Cope. I'm Brian Fenley. So not only is there this excitement, but there's also the thought of now you are the CEO and you really get to show people what you're all about. How much of that are we going to see that we haven't seen from you as you were an assistant? And how much from your assistant days at UCLA can you use as the head coach going forward? A lot of it is really when I was in the player development role. You know, because I was really there for the kids. And I think that that had taught me how to deal with them in certain situations, adversity, just anything that they're dealing with. I was able to help them with that. So I think it's just carrying over into coaching. I already knew ball. It wasn't something that we, we really had to figure that out. But just how to reach them was something. And I think I, I tapped into that and I really have resonated and found a, a good groove. One of the sentences you mentioned during your press conference that stood out to me, it was a short one. 
I'm built for this. And there's always going to be detractors saying mm -hmm. he doesn't have head coaching experience. He hasn't been a coordinator. Mm -hmm. But why are you built for this? Like I said before, I've been in situations doing something for the first time a lot. I came as a freshman. I started after my fourth game. I went to the NFL. My very first carry won 67 yards. So just being able to hit the ground running, it's the same thing. You know, I um, decided I wanted to coach, jumped right into it. So it's just all about, you know, I, I believe in myself. You have to have confidence, you know. You can't just um, not be a confident person and believe in yourself. But I believe in myself, and I think that it zoos out of me so people see that. And I'm just going to take it from there. From your self-belief to the belief that you have in those who you're going to be working with and arranging your staff, what goes into that? And when do you think you'll kind of have all of that together as you sort of work through one of the many things that you're going to have to do now as the head coach? Um, I don't really have a timeline, but it's soon. You know, I don't want to just set a date because then that's when you start getting in trouble with things. <laughs> but I, I do have a timeline in my head, but I'm just going to work through it, keep meeting with coaches talk to them, see if our visions match up and go from there. And what does the short term, I know you talked about staff, you know, that's what's right in front of you now. Mm -hmm. Spring practice is going to be in the not too distant future. But what mm -hmm. do you envision kind of the next month or so being like for you as you settle in here? Recruiting. Yeah. Huge. I'm sure fans love to hear that. You know, recruiting. We got to get out there. We got to recruit. So there's not one Hall of Fame coach that doesn't have Hall of Fame players. Yeah. And that's how I'm looking at it. What's it like in recruiting this next generation and in tapping into really what's going to get the best players here to UCLA? They want to really know that they can trust you, you know, that you can talk to them. You can get them to where they want to get. So want to go, I mean. So I'm just um, – I just try to tap in with the kids. And it starts with in high school because I end up building that relationship. So once they do get here, we're really close by that time, you know. So I'm just going to take that and – apply to the whole team and the whole landscape of recruiting because I didn't have my hands in on other position recruiting wise. Now that I do, sky's the limit. Yeah. The other part of that, of course, is NIL. And there's so much that's involved with that now that there wasn't just a few years ago. But where do you see yourself helping to fill NIL here at UCLA and continue to push that forward? I have to just get in front of donors, mm -hmm. basically, you know, and it's not even sell them a dream or sell them a vision. They have to feel my vision. They need to see it, you know, like I have to paint this picture for them so they understand, like, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of what UCLA used to be about. I want to get back to the 10 wins. I want to get back to the pack stadium. You know, I loved when we played Alabama. Alabama came out here in 2000 to play us. They were number three in the nation. They had all the RVs outside. It was a, it was amazing. I had never seen anything like that. And then we came out with that victory, and that catapulted our uh, our team. So, you know, I'm just excited. I'm looking forward to these big games that we're going to play. We're not going to shy away from anything, and we're not going to take any um, – we're not going to come in there and just be happy to play with people. We want to comp compete and win games. So that's what we're going to do. Last one for me. How many text messages have you received? <laughs> Seriously, how, how, the number, what is it? Over a thousand. How long is it going to take you to read through all of this? <sighs> we should get this up on the thing in, in Vegas, see if they could. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We should see. But um, I maybe knocked out a hundred last night. Yeah, right before bed. That's exactly. maybe the time. Not, yeah. yeah, so I probably knocked out 100 last night, and then when I woke up this morning, it was past the number that where I started. So <laughs> it's okay. You know, this is just it's a part of the game. Exactly. It is part of it. I'm excited, and that just shows the support that I have. You know, a lot of people are excited and happy for me, and they're showing up. So all those text messages coming in, when you found out you were the man for this job, first phone call you made? To my dad. Your dad. Yeah. Well, that? my parents. I called my parents. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. Let me stop. My wife was standing next to me when I got, when I, you know, so mm -hmm. told her, told my parents. That was it. What were those conversations like? <sighs> she already knew. Why, my wife already knew, so she was just pretty excited. But, you know, it was just, it's just surreal. It's nothing that you can, you can't put words on it. It's, mm -hmm. it's really, you know, it's just a feeling that, that you have. Like, it was just so exciting and just you know i've scored a touchdown in the super bowl yeah 
in the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And not like a one yard run. I was out there running. It was one like, of the longest yeah, ones. It was, a, <laughs> it was a nice run, but you know, it still doesn't add up to being the head coach at UCLA. If I may add one more, yeah. because we're going, I love this conversation, including your family and, and talking about the influence of your parents. Where would you be without their guidance? And uh-huh. how much, when you first learned you got this opportunity, were you thinking about them? It's, uh, my pillars are almost kind of what my dad taught me, you know, discipline, respect, and enthusiasm. He really wasn't pushing the enthusiasm part, but this one <laughs> respect was for sure <laughs> what he was going with. So I just lean on, you know, things that I, I, I was taught as a kid and and just and can keep passing that message along, along. You know, my players, um, Josh Kelly, Demetri Felton, Britton Brown, Zach Charbonnet, they all embodied that. And they still do. When you see them, that's why they're able to be good pros. You know, so I just got to get this whole team, you know, DRE. That's what we are. And one thing that I thought was really cool at the press conference is you had all those former players. They were talking with the current players and they were all sharing in their experiences Mm -hmm. about what it was like to play for you. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was so cool. And it it must be so special for you to see all of that come together. It's just weird because I thought that my calling was to win the Heisman and be the running back best running back ever in the NFL yeah. but my calling is to get kids to develop them and get them to their highest potential and that's why I'm here and as you say that I can't think of a more rewarding thing for you to be able to have that influence mm-hmm. on kids lives Deshaun Foster UCLA new head football coach so excited for him joining us on the Bruin Insider Show for Nick Cope I'm Brian Fenley Deshaun thanks so much thank, thank congrats. you congrats thank you guys appreciate you thank you